Welcome guys back into the channel. We've done done one video. We're on our second one. This is where we're at and we're gonna get right back at it. All right. We should be right here. To this one right here. And it's Kudler or something like that. I can't see it to, to read it to you. So the first one you're gonna have to read yourselves. There it is. All right. Then we're up to this nice, beautiful stone. And it's going to be Fairfax R. Smith. Died August 29th, 1887. He was 74 years and nine months. Then this, this, this doma. The stoma or something like that, his wife, died September the 12th, 1891, had 73 years and six months on that stone. And they're the only ones that's on it. Here's our next stone, beautiful stone. And it's gonna to belong to Francis. But that's about all I can tell is it's gonna to belong to Francis. It looks like they might've died in 1866, September the 1st. But I can't really tell much about that stone right there. But there it is, guys. And that's the only one that's on that stone. Next we have uh, Ann E. She's the wife of O.G. Smith. She died November the 14th, 1895. She was 67 years and six months on that stone right there. Then you have, uh, I'm not sure of the name, Smith. Died November the 28th, 1893, at the age of 77 years, 9 months, and 15 days on that stone. Then you have Elma. She's the wife of O.G. Smith. She died May the 5th, 1855, at 31 years. And I'm not sure on that name. But it died August the 21st, 1895, at 46 years and 2 months on that side. That's all the people that's on that one stone. All right. These, I don't see nothing on them. Okay. That makes it easy when you can't got nothing on it. You just go on, don't you? That's right. Because time's a ticking. All right. I cannot see the first name on this one. But the last name is George. And it looks like they died uh, December the 7th. 1851 at 22 or 27 years on that stone then we have H A right writ writ or something like that and it's the wife of JL Beaton and she died November the 19th 1851 and I can't really tell the age down there, but there's the stone. Except for the top of it being broke apart a little bit up here, that's in pretty good shape. All right, here's our next one. It's Job, or Job, 1822 to 1903, and Harriet, 1829 to 1900. Not sure on the last name on that one. This stone's pretty cool. <coughs> It's uh, Thomas Hatch. He died August the 1st, 1859, at 87 years. And Cynthia, his wife, died July the 29th, 1855. Looks like she was 81 years, and that's all I can tell. That's a good looking stone. That one's been down in the dirt, but it looks like they picked it up and put it back. Good for them. That is awesome. Then we have Thomas Hatch. He died June the 10th, 1880, it looks like, on this stone, right here. All right. Then we have, I have no earthly ideal on this one. And then we're up to this one. And... Uh, 
I have no idea on that one. You can't tell. Mm -hmm. All right, that brings us to here. It's uh, Joseph. But that's all I can tell. And it looks like Joseph might have died September the 13th, 1851 or 31 on that stone. Right there. All right. We're going to stay within that opening. So, all right, we'll hit some of these. Just a couple. We have a Park J. Young, 1895 to 1918. We have an Edith L. Young, 1872 to 1938. We have a, I ain't got any earthly idea, I can't see it. Then we have John E. 1848 to 1894 and Ella 1851 to 1919 then we have Crooks Archie 1850 to 1895 and Laura 1851 to 1942 looks like he is a veteran of something I can't really tell I don't know what that one is guys but there it is all right then we're up to Chapman. We're up Frank, 1862 to 1938. And Lucille, 1866 to 1950 on that one. Then we're up to John Ward Sr., I think. Died January the 18th, 1860, at the age of 100 years. Then John Ward Jr. died October the 1st, 1867, aged 73 years and three months. That's a really good looking stone. Pretty cool, he lived to 100. He had beat his son, didn't he? And then we have, I have no earthly idea on this one. There it is. Okay, we done that one. We might as well jump over here and grab this one. Probably people think I'm crazy out here in my socks. It's more comfortable than wearing shoes all day. It really is. Then we have Geo H. Hatch, 1825 to 1906. And Emmeline, his wife, 1831 to 1922. On that stone. Then we have Hatch again. Excuse me. You have J. Jetson or Judson, 1844 to 1932, and Angeline or Angeline, his wife, 1847 to 1921. Then we have Lottie. Uh, I'm not sure on the last name. It looks like 1878 to maybe 1917 on this one. Then we have Anna. It looks like Miss Anna died maybe in 1857, but I wouldn't swear to it. But there she is. And then we have Nancy. She's the wife of H and C Webster. Looks like she died June the 18th, 1883. At 63 years. Then we have H.C. Webster. He died October the 15th, 1890 at 77 years. Then you have, that's it. Cool. Then we have Charles C. Webster. He died August the 18th. 1922 at 83 years. Janey, his wife, died September the 25th, 1908 at the age of 65 years on that stone. And he's a veteran of the Civil War. Then we have Cornella. She's the wife of, uh, I have no idea what his name is. Oh, it's Albert. Albert Kiff or Kiffy or something like that. 
Died October the 1st, 1865 at 73 years. Then we have Simon Cottrell or Cottrell or something like that. September the 6th, 1863 at age 36. I make my own names up if I can't figure them out, I guess. I tried though. And we got Albert. He died in November the 11th, 1887 at 93 years. All right. Then we have Wally. Wally. We have Sophia, 1855 to 1931. And Irvin, 1849 to 1937. Then we have, I have no idea what that is. Peter. June the 30th, 1849 to October the 7th, 1906. Elza, June the 13th, 1859 to March the 6th, 1897. Their daughter, Ruth, February 23rd, 1897 to 1897. Wow. Uh, that's all that's on that stone, guys. Then here's another baby grave. A lot of babies. And I can't see it on it. There it is. I don't like to land on them too long. It bothers me. Bella, or Belle. Looks like Belle died in 1861. I want to say July the 27th on Belle. But that's all I can tell on Belle. And there's somebody else right here. But I, for the life of me, can't see it. And then there's somebody right here. If you can see it, I can't see it. But there it is. All right. So that's going to get us to Richards. Robert H. Richards. He was born August 28th, 1835. He died December the 18th. 1895. He was a member of the 42 OVI and 166 ONC. Don't know what that means, but Civil War is what it means to me. Caroline, his wife, was born April the 13th, 1837, and died August the 6th, 1912. All on that one stone. Right there. Then this one here, I can't see to read, but there it is, guys. All right. Next we have Carrie B. Richards, 1870 to 1926 on this stone. And I do apologize about the mowers. I want to apologize about the people digging too because they're fixing to dig a grave. So I want to apologize about this. This is a big no-no right here. Throwing a stone up against another stone. Very disrespectful. It was probably broke off from right there. And they threw it right there. But there it is. Here's our next one. I can't really tell nothing about it except they died in 1851 on there. And this is gonna be an infant right here. Right here. Then we have Amanda. She's the wife of Uram or something like that, Hatch. And she died June the 6th, 1841 at the age of 37 years, three months and 21 days on that stone. Then we have, I have no earthly idea on this one. But there it is, guys. It's another infant. That's all I can tell. Then we have this one. It's Hiram Hatch. Looks like he died August 18th, 1872 on that stone right there, guys. Then we have Nathan Hatch. He died January the 10th, 1850 at 81 years on that stone right there. And then there's one broke off from behind it, throwed up against it. So it can break this one off. And they died 
It's Lucy. She's the wife of Nathan Hatch. But she died February the 17th, 1858 on this stone right there. Right there, guys. There it is. You seen it first. By Tony. <laughs> Here we go. This is Charlotte, maybe, Turner. Died February the 5th, 1880. At 84 years, 10 months, and 4 or 1 day. You be the judge. Then we have Conrad Turner. Looks like he died June the 21st, 1871. And I can't see his age, but there it is. All right. And then we have whatever here. I can't see it on this one. We have somebody over here. They look like they died in 1839 or 59. It's Willie. February the 11th, 1839 or 59. I'm not sure. And then we have, I don't know what that says, but there it is. All right. Here's our next one. It's Warren A. He's the son of C and V, or C and N, Turner. He died January 27th, 1812 or 42. You be the judge at 22 years on this stone right here. I'm going to say this one is 42 because it's dug deep, but it's also notched pretty deep. So I'm going to say he died in 42 myself. But either way, it's up to you. I don't care. Carrie B. Richards, we done done. So we need to go back down here at the end and start again. Oh, great. Another infant. Great. Oh, man, I dread these. Or kid game graves. Don't like doing kid graves. Here it is. I can't see to read it, but there it is. I'm going to move my hand, too. That's a spider. You can have it, spider. I'm gone. I don't like spiders or snakes. Here's Nancy. She's the wife of J&S uh, Cane Yard. Born April the 14th, 1833. And died October the 29th, 1862. Leah, she's the daughter of... JNS and N. Gain Yard or Crane Yard or however you pronounce it. Born December 26th, 1853, and died February the 6th, 1881. Then you have James Gain Yard. I want to say it's Gain Yard. Born May the 11th, 1822, and died November the 3rd, 1831. And I can't see to read the bottom. Then you got Susan. She's the wife of Mr. Gainyard. Born August 29th, 1837. And, well, they don't know of a date. But this is the children of J and S and S Gainyard. James D. Born May the, the 8th, 1874. And died March the 2nd, 1875. Myrtle was born March the 23rd, 1876. And died August the 14th. 1876 all on that one stone right there guys all right see who we got next da, da, da. see if we've done these yeah we've done richards i don't know why i keep wanting to go back to richards all right well let's just do this row over here next to it all right here's our next one it's going to be Ab abby a late wife died. Oh, okay. Abby A, she's the late wife, and she died August the 4th, 1891. She was 34 years and 10 months. Their dad, Winnie B, died August the 12th, 1891 at the age... Wait a minute. Their daughter, Winnie. Oh, their daughter, Winnie. I thought it said dad. See, I can't see it with the glare. Anyways, died August 12th, 1891 at the age of two months. Another child. Then we have WC. 
Uh, I don't know what that name is. Anyways, November the 3rd, 1923, August 17th, August 7th, 19, 1923, to seven, she was 79 years, or he was. Then Fanny, his wife, died December 21st, 1904, she was 43 years. I got my mind on what they're doing over there, and they're setting a stone, and I was paying attention to that, and not the, what I'm doing. Kate F., his wife, died November the 13th, 1883, at the age of 36 years on that stone. All right, we're going this way. Well, let me grab this one down here by itself. Somebody has planted flowers by this one, so they've been visiting this one too. I don't know who it is or anything. But right here, they've got new flowers planted there for this year. But I can't really tell much about it. There it is. It's a child's grave, I believe. But there it is, guys. I have to get her to check that one out too. See what that is. All right. Then we have. I done that one. So we're up to J.W. McMillan. Died August the 17th, 1891. He was 59 years and 10 months. Then Willie W. He was 7 months. And then we have Amanda, the wife of uh, the husband there. I'm just going to say, uh, died December the, it looks like 18th, 1909. She was 74 years and 29 days, I believe. And we have one that's up, uh, flipped over, upside down or something here. We're going to see if we can see anything on it. Hold on a minute while I sit you down. We're not going to be able to make much out on it, but it's turned out, you know, from off its face now, because it was laying right there face down. We put it back on here and turned it face up. All right. I'd rather it be faced up than face down. It does look like someone has been fixing some of these, so I won't be too hard on this place, and they are keeping it mowed pretty good. Overall, it looks pretty good. Here's Fanny. She looked like she died in 1866, maybe June the 7th, I'm not sure, but there it is, guys. All right, I gotta catch these up now. Uh. Here's our next one. And it looks like they died in 1817, but I don't know if that's right or not. That's what, It says October the 18th, 1817 on this one, but I don't know who. Uh, then we have J.D. or, or J. DeFi, uh, DeForest? DeForest. And he's the Dunn. Uh, the Dun. He's the son of F and R. I don't know, Ingram or something like that. It looks like he died in 1862, March 22nd, 1862. He was 21 years on this stone. Then we have a double. And I can't see either one of them, but there they are. All right. Then this will be our next one right here. Uh, it's, I'm not sure of the name. Anyways, she died August the 15th, 1842 or 12, you be the judge, at 15 months. It almost looks like a 12 on that one, but I wouldn't swear to it. I don't swear to nothing I read. Uh, then we have this one. And I can't tell nothing because it broke off right down there where you need to see. There it is. And then we have this one. 
And it looks like they died in 1856, October the 30th, 1856. It's, I'm not sure on the name. There it is. All right, guys. And here's our next one. Right here. And I ain't sure of nothing on this one at all. There it is. I, I'm sure that the squirrel's been on top of it because there's half of a nutshell. That's the only thing I'm sure of. All right. Uh, this is a Charlotte Turner. She died February the 15th, 1880. At 84 years and 10 months and one day. I think we done Charlotte. But I wouldn't swear to it. And then we have Conrad. Yep, we done Conrad. I remember. We move on then. We're almost ready to move around if they wanna. If they're gonna be working over here setting a stone. I don't know how long it's gonna take them. Here's Grove Sylvester. 1861 to 1945, and Jenny wife Sylvester. 1872 to 1923. Then we have this stone right here. It's Sylvester. And it's going to be Thomas Sylvester. And it looks like he was born in July the 28th, 1886. And died November the 7th, 1902. Wait a minute, not 86. 36 and died in 1902 and Nancy his wife April the 18th 1889 or 39 Wait a minute. Yeah, 39 to May the 18th 1923 I believe that's hard to see that one. That's a real hard one to see All right guys That'll take us to this big one right here it's going to be William Crane, born June the 7th, 1816, and died August the 23rd, 1899. His wife, Anne, was born April the 26th, 1820, and she died December the 22nd, 1906, on this beautiful stone right here. It is pretty. Let's see who else is on here. There would be nobody else on there. All right. Then we have Thrift. Come here right here. Thrift. Good looking stone right there. And that's going to belong to Lagretta, 1860 to 19. Elsie, 1828 to 1895. And Edwards, 1820 to 1907. They all went to that stone right there, guys. All right. Now. Let's see. Let's see. We might as well do this over here. Here we have Harriet. Or Harry. Harriet. She's the sister of C and S. Ballins. The wife of somebody. April the 16th, 1819 to December the 29th, 1898. I hope they're on this side. Yeah. It's Turon, I think, Bowles. January 23rd, 1821 to March 26, 1908, or something like that. And not sure what her name is, Davis. She's the wife of him, Mr. Bowles. February the 7th, 1826 to June the 15th. 1893. All right, guys. We'll do one more and then we're gonna have to end this one. And do another one. Man. Time zooming. Time, 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 time. Here's a Duncan. We got John Duncan. 1846 to 1930. We got Mary A. Duncan. 1855 to 1897. All right, guys, we're going to end that one. We're going to start up another one. There may be one more, maybe two more tops, I believe. I don't know, though. It goes way over there, too. Ooh, I don't know. To be honest with you, how many more? There is some other stones over through yonder I'd like to get on. 
I'm just in between working around them mowing and them setting a headstone. So just please share, like, and subscribe to the channel if you ain't. Uh, hit the thumbs up, leave comments. Tell me what you think of this one, and we're going to keep moving on. All right. Peace. We're out of this one.